welcome back to another day of sewing. This is day 22 of our 30 day learn to sew challenge. And in today's video, we are going to continue working on the Birkett bag pattern. So if you missed out on part one of this video, be sure to go back and watch that so that we are all caught up. So in today's video, we are going to work on the next section of instructions, which is to assemble the back. Take your remaining exterior top panel and exterior bottom panel and you're gonna align the long bottom edge of the top with the top raw edge of the bottom and place the fabrics right sides together and align the side edges. Use some clips to hold the layers. Then at the machine, you're gonna sew together along the clipped edge with 3 8 inch seam allowance. Then fold the exterior away from the bottom with the seam towards the top panel and top stitch the top panel an eighth inch from the seam. You can set the assembled back aside for the moment. I'm going to set up a small wool pressing mat and I have my iron heated up and ready to go. And take both of your drawstring casing pieces. So starting with one casing, we're going to press each of the short edges to the wrong side according to the pattern. And I'm going to take my hot hammer, which is a super handy tool for pressing hems, and you'll position it on the wrong side of your fabric and fold the fabric up until the increment width that you want your hem to be. Then take your iron and you can press directly over the hot ruler because it's been designed so that way it's heat resistant. Then I like to remove the hot ruler and just give it another quick press. So then you have a nice flat folded edge. Then you'll fold a second time according to the pattern and press. So like I mentioned, you'll repeat for the opposite short end and then also your other casing piece. Now at the machine, you'll top stitch a quarter inch from each folded edge. And to save a little bit of time, I'm going to take my second casing and align it underneath and stitch across. And then you can just trim the threads in between to separate the pieces and continue on with the rest of your stitching. Next, you're gonna fold each of the casing in half along the length with the wrong sides together. Take your iron and press along the folded edge of each casing. Now, start with the assembled back panel and place the raw edge of the casing along the top raw edge of the main fabric top panel and center the casing. Add some clips to hold the layers together. Then you'll sew the casing in place with a quarter inch seam allowance. After you've sewn the casing to the back, you'll repeat the same steps to sew the remaining casing to the front panel. So as you can see, the project is really starting to come together. And in the next tutorial video, I'll be showing how to assemble the bag. So I hope you're enjoying this project so far. Let us know by liking this video and leaving a comment below. Until the next video, have a great rest of your day. Bye.